Applying hot and cold packs to joints is perfect for recovery, rehabilitation, speeding up recovery from injury and reducing pain, which is perfect for Sam who's had problems with his joints, he's got a bad back, and as a Labrador, he's just prone to arthritis and hip dysplasia in particular. But which should you use, when and for how long? Well, keep watching to find out more. So an ice pack is great for acute sudden injury. So that would be like a dog running around who puts their foot in a hole and twists their leg, or maybe an arthritic dog who's just done too much and the next day just really struggles and is stiff and sore and can't get up the next day. So for these, an ice pack helps reduce any swelling, reduce inflammation, and can be a great pain relief as well. A heat compress, on the other hand, is perfect for longer term, more chronic injuries and muscle strains and joint problems, and ideal to use in dogs with arthritis. So with traditional heat pack options, like your wheat pack that you put in the microwave, they can be really difficult to actually determine which temperature it is that you want to apply to your dog. They also don't really conform and wrap around a joint, getting that heat to exactly where it's needed. And so this is where heated braces can really benefit an arthritic dog. So they wrap around a joint, they provide heat to exactly where it's needed, and you're able to control that temperature really precisely, applying it for as long as you need to at the exact temperature to benefit your dog. And heat works with recovery and in the management of long-term painful conditions in a number of different ways. So the warmth causes the blood vessels and the, the muscles and tissues to dilate, which increases the flow of oxygen and nutrients to where it's needed. It also decreases joint stiffness because warmth increases the pliability, so the flexibility of muscles and connective tissues around joints. It also stimulates joint fluid to be produced, which actually acts as a lubricant and a shock absorber for joints. And then finally, it can actually almost distract the brain from pain with the warmth stimulating certain receptors in the skin and decreasing the transmission of pain signals to the brain. So just a quick disclaimer here, HappyTrails.pt Tech provided me with these heated braces just so that I could give them an unbiased review. They also sponsored this video. And you can get 10% off by using the code ALEX10 and the link down below. So these braces use a graphene heat element which allow heat to be targeted to the area where it's needed. So graphene is the world's lightest, thinnest, hardest and strongest nanomaterial that's actually 200 times stronger than steel. And I was really impressed with how quickly these heat wraps actually got up to temperature. They produce a number of different wraps. So the one that you can see me here putting onto Sam is their back, their lumbar wrap, which is great for dogs with spondylosis, with arthritis in their back, just like Sam. They also produce wraps that wrap around the hips. So for those dogs with hip dysplasia and hip arthritis, they are fantastic. And then the other one, which is going to be really useful for a lot of dogs is their stifle or knee wrap. So any dog that has had a cruciate ligament problem or has arthritis in their knee is really going to benefit from these wraps. They come in a number of different sizes, so they're going to be a perfect fit for your dog. And certainly Sam doesn't seem to even notice them when he's wearing them and when they're in use. So they're also really simple to use. So you just connect a portable power bank to the power button using a USB cable. Their light flashes, which lets you know that that's ready to work. Simply press and hold for three seconds and on it comes. Now it actually has three different temperature settings, which is fantastic. And when you're using these for the first time, I'd start off with that lower temperature and then gradually build up. And once your dog's used to it, using at that higher temperature is going to be ideal. I would recommend keeping these on for at least 20 minutes, probably more like 30 minutes is best depending on the size of your dog, because ultimately that heat or if you're using a cold pack, the cold really needs to penetrate deep into the tissue and only by keeping it on for that length of time is it really going to make a difference where it's needed. And so far, I've been really impressed with the quality and durability of these Happy Trails.pt Tech heated braces. They're a great addition to the treatment plan for any arthritic dog. And you can get 10% off by clicking on the link on screen now and using the code ALEX10 and see how they could fit into the treatment of your dog with arthritis by clicking on the video linked on screen as well.